news broke a few hours ago that Keefe D, he pleaded not guilty in the murder of Tupac. What you think about that? Uh, what do I think about Keefe D's arrest? I believe Keefe D is a mule. I believe he's a mule. Even if he was involved, even if he was involved, Keefe D is a mule. Tupac was assassinated nearly 30 years ago. So was Big. We already know that both of them were under FBI surveillance before their murder. If you're under FBI surveillance, you know what that means? The FBI know who shot you. They know who shot you. I remember, they know who shot you. So them arresting Keefe D 27 years later, in my opinion, I don't believe this is about Keefe D. I believe they're gonna make Keefe D the fall guy. He was involved, but he wasn't alone. This was a very highly organized, orchestrated hit. Tupac's and Biggs. I believe they're going to make Keefe D the, the fall guy to shut the door on the case before any additional evidence is brought forward that could implicate anyone who is still living because there's no statute of limitations on murder. So to protect everybody else, we're going to make Keefe D the fall guy so we can say we solved the murder, it's over, and we don't have to worry about people continually to dig this up and try to find out who's really behind it. So Keefe D is going to be made the fall guy. It's no different than James Earl Ray being made the fall guy in Dr. King's murder. It's no different than the guy who was made to be the patsy in the John F. Kennedy murder. You always have somebody involved who's close enough to it, who you can blame the murder on if things get too tough. You always see that in high profile orchestrated hits. And I believe one of the reasons why we will never get to the bottom of Biggie's murder or Tupac's murder is because LAPD was involved in both of them. And the city of LA cannot afford to get hit with a lawsuit that indicts half of the department or a quarter of the department or the major players in the department as having been involved in the Tupac murder or the Biggie murder. That would be a windfall of a financial settlement. They can't afford it. They can't afford it. They would have to fire everybody, reorganize the entire LAPD and possibly the Las Vegas PD as well. I believe that he is taking the rap in order to exonerate a lot of people in the police system of Los Angeles. So how does that work? Because I know I did an interview with Tupac Dad, and he felt the same way. He felt like the government had something to do with it. How do they put them people in place? Well, remember, the way the government operates, they would rather infiltrate a pre-existing structure than bring their own in. Because remember, in case the case gets hot, they have to have a fall guy. They don't want the fall guy to be somebody with an FBI badge or a police badge. So you always use boys in the hood, so to speak, to carry this thing out. So if something goes wrong, you can always dump it on them. And if they start running their mouth, you can take them out. That's how the government works. Now, when I look at the Tupac assassination, and of course, I've probably seen every video documentary, because as I said, Tupac is my favorite rapper of all time. Couple things. Number one. Whenever you're being escorted in a motorcade, any high level personality, politician, anyone else, and I was a political science major, so I know this well, you insulate the car on every side. The car that drove up next to Pac, even Big, but especially Pac, should have, because he just had an altercation. Big didn't have an altercation that night. Pac did. It's hot right now. Vegas Strip, it's hot. And it's tight. It's tight. It's crowded. Tyson fight. You insulate Pac in the front. You insulate Pac in the back. You insulate Pac on the left. You insulate Pac on the right. And from what we can clearly see, the car wasn't insulated on the right. How do you not guarantee protection of Tupac following a fight with a gang member right after the Tyson fight? The only conclusion I can make is the right side which happens to be Pop's side, was deliberately left exposed so he could be shot. Another interesting aspect, Tupac's security guards. 
stated in, in one of their interviews or several of their interviews that they were told not to carry weapons that night. OK, why are the security guards for Tupac Shakur? The most controversial rapper alive who just had a fight with Orlando Anderson. Why are they being told not to carry weapons? The only thing I can think of is this going to be an attempt on this man's life. And we got to make sure the person making the attempt doesn't lose their life. So for me, those are two very unexplainable realities that shows me Tupac's assassination was not a random incident. And let us be honest, the government had a vested interest in Tupac's demise. You're talking about the number one selling rapper in history, number one at the time of his death, who was also the child of a Black Panther and is a radical thinker himself at the time who was working on or planning to radicalize the gangs across the country and especially those in California. Tupac was engaging in revolutionary activity. Yes, he still had the gang side, you know, that he was dealing with with death row. But Tupac has some very clear objectives for the black community. He loved his people, unlike many of the rappers today. Tupac loved his people and he was going to use his money and his platform to benefit his community. Do you know the history of the Black Panthers? Do you know the history of the Black Liberation Army? They didn't have Tupac's money or his presence. So the government, I'm quite certain, was paranoid, waiting for Tupac to flip the switch from so-called gangster to full-time revolutionary. I mean, look at his godparents, Geronimo Pratt, Asada Shakur, Sekou Odinga. I mean, look! who he was raised under. These are some of the most iconic revolutionaries in American history. And I have to state it again. The number one rapper, the most famous rapper, is also the leading revolutionary in black America. Do you know what Tupac could have done had he lived? Tupac would have went down in history, arguably, had he gotten his mind right in time, he could have arguably went down in history as the greatest revolutionary to ever walk American soil. Greater than Malcolm, greater than King, greater than Huey, because he had the money, he had the presence, and he had the followers. The Panthers had the numbers, but they didn't have the money. Black Liberation had the soldiers. They didn't have the money or the platform. Tupac had the money, the platform, in the spirit, he had to go.